Hello, hello. Welcome to the Work at Home Graduates. My name is Tabo, and in this channel we, we talk about ways to make money short term and long term and um, part time and full time. So today I'll be talking about forex trading in terms of how you most people tend to fail. Okay, so I'll just be going over through the basic things that make pe most beginners fail when it comes to this journey. As you might know, I've been trading since 2016, so I've gotten about five years experience um, to this year. So I've seen, I've been through the lows, um, highs and lows and all the lows. So I've, I know what it's taken. I've seen what it takes to be a successful trader um, as I am today. So I just today I'll just be going over the brief points that you should know on this journey. So let's meet me of the intro, let's go. Welcome back guys. So here are my four things that make most traders fail, most forex traders fail. Okay, so the first one is not following one strategy. Okay, so part of winning in, in forex trading is having a neat um, downsized strategy that you follow each and every day. Okay, not jumping. Most uh, new traders, what they do is they get the strategy and then they um, it doesn't work like for a few uh, let's say they w they do the strategy for a week and they get some wins and losses and then it keeps happening over and over again they keep changing strategies they go to uh, maybe YouTube or somewhere like they look at another strategy and then they say oh this one is not working okay so the good what you need to do is to master that first strategy that you learned and make sure you make it work for you Okay, so that's one thing I wish I knew when I started. I like just focus on it and just even if it means um, trading 100 trades and look, let's say you trade 100 trades and then you win 80. Okay, your sample size is, eight, is 100 and then you won 80. That means just that strategy is winning 80% of the time. So you just start using that strategy over and over again. So because you've tested it, back tested, remember. Okay, that is um, um, what you do back testing and just check, make sure it works each and whether you do demo or whatever the case is. Don't, don't um, rush, it all happen, don't worry. So number two is being patient. Um, another thing, being a successful trader, we don't, you don't really have to trade every day. You only trade when your setups are there. Okay, I'll give an example like um, for my, like in my group, um, the, the people I've been helping students um, and also like signals are saying just to help people grow their accounts. Like, like this week, I think we, uh, I didn't trade for like two days. Um, yeah, so you would know if you're part of my group. So for example, I just, you don't, I didn't trade. Last week, we didn't trade for, I think, three days. I think, um, I'm, I'm, I think some people can correct me there um, if, you, if you know this or any if you're my student. So that's the thing. I only trade when I see the setups. Other than that, I just do. That's the thing about, great thing about being a Forex trader. You have, it's basically to have time freedom and do the things you love to do. So yesterday, I, I did so many things that I love to do, le um, leisure, um, just went out, you know, did some um, great stuff without looking at the charts and just focus on my other businesses. Yeah, that's why, so you need to wait for your setup to come. Even if you see that, like, for example, um, let's say you're trading uh, something that is maybe ranging and it hasn't, you know it has to go like down, for example, and, and it's already there and your entry was like right at the top. Um, there's no use of rushing because you already missed it. Wait for it to come to you. If it doesn't come, it's okay. The market will give you the opportunity, many other opportunities, okay? You just have to wait for it, okay? Okay, that's number two. Be patient, learn to be patient. Money will come to you, it will follow you. That's, that's a thing about being a trader. And then the, number three, okay? Number three is having a good risk to reward ratio. So make sure that strategy that you have from step one that I talked about, make sure um, 
it allows you to have good risk management. For example, one is to one or one is to two, you don't wanna be risking obviously more than what you're gonna lose. So if you see a trade, you have an opportunity that is according to your strategy and your plan. So what you do is, if it doesn't give you that one is to one or one is to two, whatever you are comfortable with, if it doesn't give you that, just leave the trade, all right? Wait for another one or wait for it to go to a certain level and then just go up. I'm telling you it's going to pay you a lot and you're going to, be, you're going to see m much more success in your trading. So number four is how to master emotions. That's, that's the thing. Don't be overwhelmed. Most traders are like, oh, you know, I just have to trade. I have to. And then, that, and then it goes back to that step where you don't follow your risk and you don't follow your strategy. Just because you see that something is going up, um, it doesn't mean you must be emotional. Okay, Remember, we, the market makers or the people who are trading the brokers, they use your emotions to do that. Okay, So for example, if you see a trade um, and you thought it was going up and then it just starts going backwards, immediately go like exit okay don't don't adjust your uh, trailing stop okay so um, also if you see that it's going down if your analysis is wrong okay just get out of the trade that's what i did for uh, this week um, i think we had a loss um, i had a loss i knew that um, one of my trade had to go up but it didn't so it was still retracing so what i did i went in like i did go in and then i was like oh gosh it's going like it kept going down i didn't have any egos or whatever like i used to have in the past i just went out so like i'm gonna wait for the opportunity i know where it's going it's just going um down it hasn't it was just a false um, move so what did so now i'm waiting for the opportunity to go to get in into it so that unlike before, before I used to be like, oh, let me just wait. It'll go. No. And I just my stop loss. Okay. And then you end up having more losses and, and stuff. And then, you, you know, you lose a lot and you end up, you know, not being successful in this journey. Because, yeah, the brokers do play with your emotions. And so it's up to you. Make sure you are, make sure you're comfortable with your risk to reward and then Remember what I said the last time I said your risk reward will re determine your your emotion your emotions or your psychology. So make sure you have a good risk reward and you know if you lose this it's fine you're still going to win way more for other trades. Okay. So I hope you did get value for that. Those are my four ways um, that for uh, beginner traders should should um, be mindful of. Make sure you have one strategy you stick to, make sure it works or back test it, make sure it works first. Okay, even if it takes you three months, make sure, because I mean, if you're starting something, uh, you're not, for example, paying someone, you'd have to back test and see that strategy is working. For example, there's many strategies that are working, but people don't want to back test and make sure um, they work for them. Any strategy that you do must be in line with your personality, what you like to do, okay? For example, if I give you a strategy like in my in my YouTube videos, you can make it your own. Use Maybe you add other, other indicators if you want. Make it your own, okay? What are you going to be comfortable with? And backtest it 100 trades and see if it will work or not and see what um, percentage you're winning. Okay, after that, you'll see, okay, this is what I should be doing. I should focus on this. Okay, that's part of being a sex. And then the next thing is obviously to make sure you're patient with it. Now you know your strategy is working. Be patient. Just let it ride. Ride. Because obviously you'll be patient once you know something is working. So make sure you backtest it and make it work. And then next thing, make sure your risk reward is good. And that will take care of your emotions and your psychology. And you'll become, become a profitable trader if you do that. Those are the things that did have a huge impact on my life. And I wish I knew. And I wish someone did um, help me and tell me this. Okay, I hope you did enjoy this video, guys. And yeah, um, I will be adding more Forex um, videos. And just how, whether psychology and how to understand the markets. 
and then so you can also be profitable in that and i'll be doing some analysis maybe on sunday or uh, monday um, for the coming week um, so yeah so we can see um you know like how I, what i do and just adding more information as as some people have been asking me to add more forex information okay so just be on the lookout for that we'll be doing that doing some analysis we're doing some more um, tips to for you to be successful in forex trading okay i will still be adding some other videos um how to make other ways to make money online so uh, yeah i'll be adding those and because uh, i know this can help other people to be able to fund their accounts uh, for example i fund my accounts with my money that i make on my side income from my internet side gigs that i make okay that's how i grow in forex okay you keep adding money um, you you trade add money and you make as much money as you want okay the side hustle will help you okay so guys see you in my next video um i hope you did enjoy this um if you did enjoy please press the like button down below and also don't forget to subscribe as i'll be bringing you more ways to make money online and like forex internet marketing and many other ways stay tuned Let's